happy first day of meteorological winter. I wondered if you would remember. You know? He always does, always. I mean, he, he likes to speak the lingo. Let's he does. Face it. That's about That's all I know. All That's day he's it. been out there. Happy winter. And people would go, what? <laughs> That's our guy. That's right. He's crazy, that guy. <laughs> well, that's what we like to say. Right. Uh, most certainly. Okay. It's starting to feel a little like winter mm -hmm. out there. It I is. think actually with the lights and everything, 100%. a lot of people are getting in the festive feeling a little more. If we had a little snow, and we won't go there. Uh, <laughs> we're actually going to see temperatures going up tomorrow. But this time of the year, what goes up does come down. There's a reason that that saying exists, right? Temperatures in the 20s uh, as we head through the night tonight. Notice we don't have a sharp drop off. We get into an interesting situation because typically under clear skies, we would see temperatures just free falling, especially in wintertime with a nice cold air mass in place. The difference here is we've got some wind and not only do we have a little wind, it is wind that is starting to come out of the south. That will be a game changer for us tonight. No real cloud cover to speak of. There are a few high thin clouds that have been coming in, but the southwest breeze is going to help us out immensely. Initially, we may still lose a couple of degrees as we get into the overnight hours, but by tomorrow at daybreak, temperatures are probably going to be up around 30 degrees, if not in the low 30s, as the winds start to pick up. So we're really not going to see an appreciable drop tonight in the temperatures even though it's pretty darn cold out there right now. And the southerly breezes are just the beginning of the push of warm air that is coming out ahead of our next storm system. Eerily enough, if you will dial it back about oh, 36 hours ago, Remember the cold front that came through yesterday morning. We started real warm, winds picked up, rain came down, all of a sudden the temperatures dropped. We're gonna do that again, not tomorrow. We're gonna do it again on Saturday and it's all because of this storm system that's out to the west. So big cold front coming across the Rockies will tap into some Gulf moisture yet again and we'll see the two meeting up over the Ohio Valley and it is a pretty eerie situation how similar it is. So let's take a look at it in your National Design Hour hour by hour forecast. Beautiful high pressure sitting over us right now. That's why all your little streamlines are emanating out from a single point. That will move out and that southerly return flow begins to fill in. You you can see the rain starting to pick up in the mid-Mississippi River Valley. Meanwhile, here comes that cold front and watch how everything converges right over the state of Ohio again in the morning on Saturday. So Saturday we will begin breezy with rain, temperatures mild in the 50s. And then once that front comes through, we're going to find those temperatures dropping very quickly. And by noon, we will be in the mid 30s on Saturday and the wind chills are going to start to taper back too. One big difference here, uh, we are not going to see any lake effect snow out of this, I don't think, uh, other than a random flurry or two, which I guess is pretty much like what we had yesterday. Uh, but it does look like then we will stay with that cool air as we get into the day on Sunday. So tomorrow's National Design Mart on the hour forecast, 51 the anticipated high. That'll be happening in the afternoon. So we start chilly, but look at your morning temperature, 33. So that's a sign that we're going to see those temperatures buoying overnight tonight. Winds start to pick up out of the south as we head through the afternoon. So it will be blustery. And as you can see, the clouds begin to fill in. The rain arrives late and that rain will then carry over into Saturday morning where we we will start in the mid 50s, then the temperatures come down after that cold front goes through. It's also going to be windy once again. Now, Union Home Mortgage forecast from there stays rather cool. Upper 30s to right around 40 on Sunday, but lots of sunshine. We will take sunshine anytime we can get it. Uh, clouds then start to increase again on Monday. Another cold front comes through on mm. Tuesday with some scattered rain showers coming in and yes, another batch of cooler air. So this time of the year, we always get bam, 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 bam storm systems. It's very active. It's a sign that the atmosphere is beginning to really react and change from summer through fall mm. into winter. So the calendar is catching up with the yeah. meteorology. Now, why do you guys do that? Why, why do you do the meteorological winter, spring, the, the first of the month? So you would typically else? think of winter weather in December, January, February. Mm -hmm. right. That's meteorological winter. You'd think of spring as March, April, May. Huh. That's meteorological spring. So it's kind of makes, chunk it up into four equal blocks. Yes, makes sense. We're All learning right. so much. Yes. Betsy, thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs>